Hello and welcome to the Cowboy for Game Yu-Gi-Oh! podcast. I'm your host Jake. Today I am joined by Bragg from Braggio and Ben from Nolan TCG. I am curious as to whether or not those Turbo Duels showed up. We'll find out. Yeah, look, we can just dub him over with a previous one. He says it the same every week. Exactly. True. Definitely say it exactly nice the same way. Definitely Stunning. don't get abused for changing things around. Yeah, anyway, makes my life difficult. has been a hot minute since we've been here, uh, but yeah, glad to be back. How has our time been in Yu-Gi-Oh? Um, let's start with Bragg. Yeah, I knew we were going to do that. Uh, I also wasn't prepared, so... Oh, Come here on the shelf. There's no one card combos. I was hoping for a bit of love from the ban list. As such, there was none. Uh, we'll get to that in a little bit. Uh, uh, voiceless voice I'm looking at. A few lines. It's pretty simple, but it gets out some negates and stuff, so that's kind of cool. So I'm kind of leaning that way, but obviously, if there's going to be five secret rares in that set, maybe I not. Down there, they allocated that many. Yeah, I don't think so either. But I would be shocked if you got one. Oh, I five hope. ultra rares or five secret rares? Is it that? Which sets it in? The next one. Main set or side yeah, set? Main, main set. Okay. Yeah, you won. Nah. 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 That's, what, give, that's all the Ubal stuff. Hopefully, we'll be all that, like... They'll give goblins so many secrets, even though apparently that it sucks ass. So you've got goblins, it'll get at least one. You've got the new Snake Eye stuff, which will pretty much all get it. Yep. Yep. Um, the princess, yeah. Yep, princess is definitely getting one. But yep. then we also have the TCG archetype, which will yep. get one or two as well. Yes. So potentially, you might not end up getting any, which is great. And that Please. takes... Oh, busted. The the new, uh, I reckon the the boss monster, the boss ritual monster, might not. That might be a secret. Everything else, the, hopefully, is common. Hopefully, all of it's common. That's the thing, though. You've got QCRs as well, so you can get rarity upgrades of them. So just fingers crossed, they're all ultra, and that you can get maybe a nice QCR of one of them. Uh, we covered the set after Phantom Nightmare previous. Did they advertise QCRs for that? Uh, no. no. Yes. Yes. Yeah, because it was the financial year of fire. Yes. Plus the 25th <laughs> financial year. Yes. That's all. They all overlap. So yeah, we're running out of QCRs as well. Hopefully. Hopefully. Fingers crossed. <laughs> yeah. Hopefully we are. Uh, haven't touched Master Jewel. It's been a bit more Pokemon oriented as usual. Thanks, Logan. It's an audio podcast. Man puts his thumb off off camera. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you're He's mumbling. <laughs> they uh, all seem to be implying that I'm going to take the time to edit in his audio. No. <laughs> I mean, I do the audio version, so... Oh, yeah. Audio-only podcast gets yeah. secret dulcet tones of Logan stumbling over his sentences. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that probably won't. Well, that's a nice comment. Uh, how was your week, then? Well, you, you can My go week. Yeah, you can. Me? I've been caught off guard. <laughs> go on. No, I'll go last. Um, okay, so in the time between when we last spoke and now, um, so I played Unchained um, for the last time at its most consistent. Did well. I think I won that last Locals with Unchained. Um, so that was good. And I pulled Brand of Fusion from that one, which was the last I needed to fix my playset. So that's all done. I should really give that another go. Really? Yeah, I think so. Like, I've got all the pieces, and, like, I've spent quite a bit of money on getting, like, um, Starlight of the good stuff. It's not going too well playing August. I mean, Brain is, is probably better than August. Yeah. It's going fine. Don't besmirch my fucking stuff. Anyway, um, we also had the uh, Ultimate Ban List tournaments, um, I think, just before we broke as well. we well, done one, right? Yes, we've done one. We'll play we it on Tuesday. Yeah. yeah. Um, so the Orcus one that I did, I think I won that one too. Um, and then on the second version, I decided to switch it up. Um, and I played my Kashi Bone Tower FTK. Um, <laughs> I tried to get it on camera. You did. Yeah. Um, that was fun. Because um, either uh, I got the Bone Tower to do the milling, or people would drop Maxi not knowing what the deck does, and I'm like, ha, ah, you fool. You know, Adam Shard's <laughs> in your deck. <laughs> it's so good. So, that, I mean, that counts as an FTK, right? Oh, yeah. Well, they didn't get to play, so yeah. yeah. 
I think the only time it didn't 100% work is I think my opponent got down to like maybe three cards left in deck, but then off turn, one of them um, mills cards from the, the opponent's yeah. deck if it's someone from Graveyard, so I was like, cool. The, I... the Link 3 in that deck is insane. <coughs> it's so good. Hmm. It's just the rest of the deck is shit. Yeah. Well, actually, the Link 4 is actually really good too. Because, like, that's not a once per turn. Any time that, like, something comes back from the grave, she negates it and drops it to zero. Oh, yeah. It's, it's not bad. It's not bad. Yeah. You still have to get there with Mayakashis, and that's the problem. Yeah, well, yeah. The Mayakashis are, in fact, the problem with Mayakashis. Yes. <laughs> the boss monster's not that bad. Getting there is that bad. Yeah. They look cool, though. They do. The art style is actually really cool. Yeah. And I appreciate that it was in the sets, uh, like the side sets, when they did secrets for like heaps of shit. Yeah. So like it looks like a nice deck because everything <laughs> pretty much is in secret. I miss those 20 secret sets. Those were the days. They were the days. Secret forces miss you every day. <laughs> do you do? No. Exactly. The Maybe one that we really miss is Hidden Summoners. I think that's the one with prank kids in it. Is it yeah. Would you not miss the one that had Dragon Maids in it? Maybe Good. that was that one. Maybe that was that was Mystic Fighters. That was alright. Mm. But anyway. Six Samurai was also in. Oh yeah. I forgot about those. Yeah. I shouldn't have forgotten about those. You killed me with them a few times. Mm, the Valhalla set. And um, now it's dead. Now it's Toon Chaos and every other shit one after. Mm. <sighs> oh well. Uh, but then, uh, in the new year, with my boy Harp coming off the list, uh, I am dabbling in Orcist and Hawkist and things like that. Um, still haven't 100% settled on a list that I'm happy with, but it is getting better. <coughs> my first iteration was awful. Like, j it could set up the board, but then if someone comprehensively broke the board, the deck did nothing. Yeah. So, it's... Um, Difficult to manage the resources when the game's a lot faster than it was four years ago. Just a little bit. Yeah. Just a little bit. That's okay. I brought in some new stuff today. Um, I added some bestials in as well, because the addition of Regained means you get to put some stuff back, draw some stuff. You got some dragons floating and yeah. Just great. Okay. Okay. Uh, and then yeah, Master Duel. Um, I'm back on branded in Master Duel. Uh, Deck's funny. Although I'm not doing the, like, um, puppet lock or anything like that, because that just seems cruel and un unkind. Un it's Master Duel, that's what you do. Isn't, it's isn't best of one, what are they going to do? Stop you? Is puppet lock that good in ladder? Yeah. It is? Any, so just do it then. Any deck that has an auto win button in Master Duel is really good, because they can't side hand traps for it in games two and three. Mm. Yeah, but it, 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 it bores me. And? It's meant to be boring. Is it? Yeah, it's meant to be, you're meant to be having success while not having a good time. <laughs> what a statement. Yes. That's Master Jewel. Anyway. You ever had fun playing Master Jewel at home? Let us know in the comments. Doubt it. You didn't play. Yeah, you don't play Master Jewel. I don't know why you wouldn't. All the decks you like are there. Snow is in fact legal there, and um, Kikalos is still legal too. But it puts stuff in the bin. Man, it's it ain't true, a light one, it ain't me. Oh, lights one, he says. We'll get into that. Ben. How was my time in Yu Gi Oh! I actually like, didn't attend a whole lot of locals. Nah, man, that's busy. We were away for, so like, what we had the one on Boxing Day that. I walked in and then immediately walked out of. Yep, because um, they did a really great job of telling everyone that there was a box on offer. Yeah, they a, didn't advertise what time the tournament started, so everyone either thought it started at late or they showed up at the right time. Um, and then there was also a magic event that made oh, the store was... smell really bad, so the moment I had a chance to be like, oh, there's not enough players to run the full tournament, I was out that door. Um... And then... And I ran 2017 locals here. <laughs> yeah. I played, like, Rescue Ace for, like, the last of proper time, at it's most consistent. Uh, bricked horrendously all day and was like, I'm not going to miss this. It's most consistent. It just not, fails. I'm not going to miss this. It was like, <laughs> oh, yeah, finally. Time to play it most consistent way. 
here's two traps in every hand. And I was like, yep, yeah, I'm done. Don't want to play this no more. So now we're on Fire Kings. Uh, the start to the year has been very good. I'm undefeated so far. So, one locals on Tuesday. Drew locals today. Fuck, I hate draws. Um, Annoying. But yeah. Okay, Drew locals today, which is fun. Um, but yeah, that deck's been going really good. We, of course, had the uh, charity tournament while I, while we were away. Um, in total, we ended up raising just a bit over $1,000. So, pretty happy with that. want to thank everyone who donated um, while we were doing the event. The last of the videos goes live tomorrow for that, uh, before we jump into new content with the new ban list and everything like that. Um, but yeah, do just want to thank everyone who donated along the way. Thank you. Lovely. So, because uh, we've mentioned it a couple times, we'll start with the ban lists because we had three over the break. Uh, so we'll start with our TCG one. I we um, start with Master One. I was like, what are you doing? No, don't be silly. That one's next. Uh, so for the TCG, obviously Forbiddens, we had Aguido and Kelbeck both going away. Uh, Isolde going away, which has needed to go away for a long time. Yep. And Mathmax Circular, which didn't need to go, but I'm glad that it did. Yes. No, I, I mean, no, <coughs> math, I mean, you probably could have just hit the Isolde and then the Mathmax stuff wouldn't have been as bad. Because Mathmax by themselves weren't the problem. It was the combos that it could degenerate as a one card starter. No, 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 no. <clears throat> yeah. No, no, no. Yeah. Hit both. Yeah, give it a both. I don't I've... want them getting that. Oh, no, yeah, that's it. You could have gotten away with it, but may as well comprehensively and kick Cybers in the nuts. Also, they've got sales stuff to sell, so get back to that. Yes. And you don't want them mixing both. Well, with the new sales stuff, you couldn't mix both. So I feel, I feel like <laughs> there was this meme ages ago, and I feel like it was in relation to that, where it's like, hey, guys, we have all this new salad stuff. You can only do fires, but you can do it. And people still wanted to do math, make circular bullshit. And then they just fucking slap circular down. They're like, play with our new things. <laughs> like, if they didn't make, make it explicit enough, here it is now. Yes. Yeah. In retrospect, the further we've gotten away from the ban list, probably the big, well, of course, the biggest ban was Assault Day. And like the amount of things that just that being banned impacts both now and in the future, uh, yes. is actually pretty big. So. Yep. Yeah. But yeah, that that card should have been banned years ago. Like, it, like it's an approximation to Hulk and the like, but it just got to stay around a lot longer, just because warriors. Yes. So it yeah. should have been banned in 2018. Yes. But here we are. Banned here it. we are, indeed. Uh, then we move on to limits. Uh, Redox uh, coming back, Airlifter going to one, Shavara going to one, and my boy Harp back to us at one. Let's go. All consistency hits the decks. Harp yes. going to one has meant people get to brick playing August again. <laughs> I'd love to refute that, but the amount of times that, like, with the regain today, I put back Nightmare and drew another copy of Nightmare. I'm Ooh. like, can you Ooh. get the fuck out of my hand? Anyway, um, yeah, so Redox, I mean, yeah, they're slowly bringing them back. Which, I mean, I've seen, I've seen one OCG list that I think won like a, an eight-man locals and it has all the Dragon Rulers and then the Black Rose stuff, like the, the Black Rose tuners, and they just pump out fucking um, Rank Baron. Tens. Yeah, yeah, Rank 10s. Oh, Synchro 10s. Whatever, yeah, whatever, whatever, else, whatever else you need. And yeah, look, that's one way to do it. And yeah. they also have Skill Drain. And I think that's might, that might be a factor. Summon a bunch of big dragons. Attack, 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 attack. I might, yeah, I see what the point is here, but there's no way that goes fast enough compared to the rest of the format. And you've got some skill drains there. Hmm. Yes. I wonder how you won. <laughs> um, and then, yeah, Shavara. Like, the deck is still very playable. It's just not searching traps, like, all the time. <laughs> like, I... If it weren't for Harp coming back, I probably would be investing more time into working out if that deck can still compete. But... There's no need. Mm. No need. Don't worry about that. No. Don't worry about that. Uh, then we also have, because for whatever reason they've separated these, um, there are a lot of limits. Uh, Sun Avalon, Dryas, and Healer going to one. Good hits. Uh, yeah, very good hits. Um, sucks to be European. Yes, they won. Yes. Um... The deck's still playable from replays and stuff I've seen. It's still fine. It's just not completely bonkers. Um, Ib Chalice Justice here. 
coming Another back to one. Consistency hit to decks. Now they have to play him and have all those inconsistent cards pop up. Yeah. Um. Like. Are you playing at locals? No. Logan did. He hard drew both vanillas. It happens. And then he didn't play again. What? Then he didn't play again. No. That's fair. Um, then we also have uh, Snatch Steel coming back to us. Well, I mean, yeah, go around the zone there. Yeah, I suppose, with <laughs> less um, searchable things. If, not that I would like to think about it, but if you were running that in Makunko and you use the um, ritual to equip it... Mm -hmm. it yeah, but, but they already do that. And negates the effect. They already have... Yeah, they already have their yeah. own in archetype snatch deal. So, I don't know. also, Makanko sucks without a Zolte. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Just, just giving them something. Yeah. You take something away, you give them something. It's fine. Um, Gozen, Rivalry, and Tikabu all also going to one. Nice yeah. hits. Nice hits. It felt bad trying to pick between them in the extra arc in the side deck, so. No, you don't have to. Yeah. Show them all in. Hopefully, I draw one. My one on one. I should be playing one one for one. Just for the lols. I mean, I'm tempted for and voiceless, but... I mean, could come back before then. And they just kill all of Vanquish Soul. Yeah. And then they lose all their other cards and they can have their best card back. Yeah. Fingers crossed. Um, Semi-limited. We have Speedroid Terratop, Pearly Sleepy Memory, and Dino Wrestler Pancratops. So I've been playing Pancratops at two. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I don't like it. You don't okay. like it? Yeah. I just have never been like, man, I've got to side in these two Pancratops. I need to find some other cards to side in instead. Okay. Yeah. Cool. It's I'll probably go. really good into, like, SP boards. So, like, I could probably keep it for that. Mm. Just to be able to, like, special, battle phase, attack in battle phase, pop something else. Yeah. I can see how Fenris, that Fenris, maybe? Are you mining Fenris? No, nah, I'm not playing Fenris. I don't own Fenris anymore. I sold them. Oh, true. Yeah. Hmm. Fenris do be good. I just wanted to buy them back because I was like, oh, surely they'll get hit on the next ban list. But here we are. <laughs> no. Uh, in fact... Surely they'll get hit on the next ban list. <laughs> I'm not buying them. <laughs> um, Teratol coming back to two is fine. Like, speedways themselves aren't doing anything and it's not like you've got a lot of other options it's MX goblin and... support didn't bring back invoker so fine it can come back it could be goblin support it is goblin support I mean I didn't say good from, from the sounds of things they need support they do they need help desperate <laughs> here we are <laughs> they can hard make Beatrice wow they send send what though a tear card <gasps> goblin tear <laughs> goblin tear are they with darks god knows I'll figure it out later when I'm messing around with the deck when it sucks. Keep me, guys, remind me, don't... I not. I can't buy that deck on pre-order. You can't? No, because it'll go down in price. <laughs> true, very true. Um, no longer on the list, though, we have Infernity Archfiend, Kashtira Unicorn, Mind Control, Desires, Spellbook of Judgment, Sprite Starter, and Upstart Goblin. Back to three well, with I mean, Upstart. Well, Upstart, like... I think I've said it on the other pod where it's like well, I've got Prosp like yeah. I can't play this <laughs> I want to but that's I the can't. but this is the thing right we were talking about this before the ban list came in that Prosp was possibly going to one and here they are like no nope, have have more all the draw cards you want except for Graceful Charity you can and Pot of Greed you can have all of those and it's fine yeah. I, I like it I like the idea of it yeah I'm about seven cards. Thirty seven cards. But There'll be some decks that can make it, like Sky Striker, but they're not doing much. Oh, yeah. I tried mixing that with Sky with Spellbooks. Looked at the deck and was like, nah. <laughs> no. Nah. <laughs> it's cool to be like, yeah, I'm getting to your spellbook cards, but nah. Uh, unicorn. Um... Yeah, unicorn. Give Cash some stuff back. Just don't give him everything back. Hell's Dragon Rules. Yeah. More sevens in it. All the sevens. It's also a wind. And then give Sprite something back as well because it's just doing its thing somewhere. 
Sorry, my brain was like, do they have a big fire um, cashier? But they don't have a little fire. Yeah, little fire, and then the exes. Yeah. yeah Thought that one was, wasn't he? Isn't he 28? What? Isn't the big one, isn't he fire ogre? No, he's water. Yeah. <gasps> yeah. We don't have the water dragon ruler back yet. No, God, no. But you have the earth, so you can redox with Fenrir, and you can tempest with... Yeah, why don't, they, why don't they have a big fire then? They got the little fire. Yeah, they got Rise Heart the mist, and they the got Shangri Era. They got two yeah. Earths. Yeah. Two and two Earths. I demand more Cash Tira support. You get the they fuck out. They need a big fire. It can be garbage. Yeah, we just want to discard it. Fire. <laughs> just make it vanilla. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So that is the TCG list covered. Moving on to the OCG list. Uh, some differences. Uh, they only have one card being forbidden, which is... The card uh, that should King, have been forbidden for us. King Calamity. Uh, yeah, get rid of turn skips. <laughs> Who would have thought that would be a good idea? Um, but they also have, uh, coming back to one, Redox and Ib. Um, but going to one, they have Heavy Storm, Emergency and Rivalry. This makes sense. This makes sense. Heavy Storm's crazy. Yeah, they've had that for years as well, right? So weird. Uh, Semi-limited, they have Change of Heart. Uh, it's coming back to two. My Friend Pearly, uh, it's going down to two. Uh, Tikaboo to two, and Big Welcome to two. All logical hits. Yes. Yeah. Uh, and then Unlimited, they have Gandora X going to three, but they it is it to with be the TCG Errata, yep. so it's now bad. Uh, Fractal, um, that was Semi-limited prior. Uh, same with Mobilizing Gauge, that was now at, now to three when it was at two. Uh, Dragonic Diagram, that's now unlimited as well. And Flunderies and the Magnificent Map. Yes, because they nuked the rest of that deck, I'm fairly sure. Yeah, I feel like they've got some of the little birds at one, right? Uh, I think maybe Rob and Arroy Eglin, yeah. And then... And then Barry Statue is not there anymore. Yeah, which means it's fine. It's fine. You don't have to worry about it. <laughs> For now. Uh, and then, uh, in an area that I don't particularly care about, Rush Duels also had a ban list. Ban list is huge. Yeah, it was. Um, it was. Fire Barry statue wild. getting banned. Yeah. Massive. Yeah, I don't. It is a. It was a problem, but. Oh, it definitely was a problem cut. But oh, by the way, that's not. That's yeah. There's no, a bunch of no changes there. And, yeah. Yeah. And um. They did not bring I can't some really cards back explain. in the list. I can't explain a lot of the rest of them because I don't. They banned Fiery Barrier Statue, so I need 40th card on my deck. Uh, anyone have any recommendations? Please comment it down below. Um, I should probably just put Jizno in my deck. Excuse me? I should probably just put Jizno in my deck. If you say so. Sure. Uh, and then finally, the Master Duel ban list. Uh, so that one's coming into effect uh, on Wednesday, the 10th. I just want to point out, when Jake read this ban list to me, he was like, oh, they hit all these cards that I like. And I was like, do you play them? And he was like, no. I mean, I was playing them until not long ago, some of them. Uh, but we start with Forbidden. Uh, Super Heavy Samurai Soulbreaker Armor getting preemptively hit, uh, which is funny as fuck. It's fine, uh, it's an FTK card. Uh, White Dragon Wyver Buster. And Chaos Dragon Ruler of Magical Dragons. Card should probably be banned everywhere, which it now is. And Card of Demise, which I didn't realise the first time I'd read this list. Yeah, this that's is why I said you hit a chamber. It's because I started playing Chainburn, so kind of demise bit. Sure. Yeah. Uh, limited, they have Inspector Border and Cash Tier of Fenrir. The Fenrir yeah. hit's annoying. No, it's not. It's annoying to me. Why, oh, because you're playing Cash Tier? No, because I was just playing Fenrir. <laughs> That's why I wanted them to limit Unicorn instead of Fenrir. No. Um, as well as that, Kaiser Colseum, Cash Tier of Birth, Pod Desires and Duality. Delicious Memory and Runic Destruction all going to one. I've been informed that Kaiser Colosseum was going down to one. Yes. I was like, why'd they bring this back? But no, it's going the other way. Yeah, um, a lot of the bands on this list are aimed at hitting Runic Stun specifically because it was a very annoying deck to verse. It would just it's... sit there on one of the fusion monsters, play a bunch of Floodgates and have Kaiser so you couldn't effectively add it. How does that deck run Card of Demise, though? Surely it doesn't. You, it does. You set Fountain, set Five Pass. Oh, so you just set your Quick Play spells? Yeah. Oh, that's logical. Makes sense. 
Uh, as well as that, though, uh, Synchro Zone and Tigaboo also going to one. Yep. No um, semi limited, Pearly Sleep, uh, Pretty Memory, sorry, uh, is the only semi limit on this list. Yep. And yep. no longer on the list. Uh, all for Scorpio, Redox, Terra Top, uh, Soul Soul, Long One, uh, Tempest, Tempest Tem and Tidal. They just gave us all the dragon rules just all to experiment them. with. I'll, yeah, I was looking at them, and, but they're all, look, I need way more dust. Are they all so, URs or SRs? Yeah, uh, URs. Fuck that. Yeah. They're not but, even going to try yeah, messing They do with this it. almost every time a, like, a banned card was banned prior to them starting it's Master Rules. They always bring them in as a UR. Yeah. Well, they're probably just in the game as URs because they're like, ah, this is the ban list. They're all URs. If we ever bring them back, we're going to stand and make a bit of money on people that'll be like, I've got no money. And that's the thing. Why? Like, people that were playing with the banned cards in the thing when they let them yep. would have had to spend a lot of points in order to craft a lot of it because a lot of them were URs. Yeah. Got to push yeah. your 20s. <laughs> cards are called Sam. So, it being limited on Master Jewel. Now yes. implies that it isn't so complicated. It is actually a good card, and it's not banned because it is complicated. Yes. Good. I should play it on Master Duel just so I can figure out how it actually works. Yeah, that's now I'm seeing it. At one, I'm like, oh shit! I, can't, yeah. I, I forgot we went to check some certain rulings. Ah oh, well, what do you do? It is what it is. Uh, as well as that, in Master Duel, uh, we have some of the. Um, the rental competitions and extreme duels and stuff like that. So a couple of weeks ago, we had the first one for this sort of period, which was the 30 second duels. It was very easy. How was it for you, Brack? Let him try. Set five <laughs> chain burn cards, pass. Oh God, you're really on this, aren't you? My opponents just panic and start playing everything. And I'm just like, blah, 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 blah. In the brief <laughs> thing that I played it for, I found it odd some of people's deck choices, like going in for big combo decks. I'm like, yep. bro, do you realize how little time you have? Yes. Like, it achieves nothing. I think for mine, I played Metaphys because I'm like, I just want to banish some cards and then I'll do some shit off turn. That's that's as far as I need to go, and then I'll just disrupt here and there. It's fine. Um, the second one, which uh, finished not too long ago, was the 2024 Life Points. Uh, version <laughs> that was also very easy yeah uh, the only thing is a lot of people would have went in with the same strategies it was just take life points off yeah I came up against a lot of people playing like the spell version where they're just like blah, blah, blah. I was, a lot of times like oh you didn't quite kill me set five pass <laughs> activate a geometry or summon start burning you good work oh god I can't remember what I played for that it definitely wasn't a burn deck but I think I did play some, like, counter burn cards. But I think I happened to be, like, sitting at my computer as the event opened, so I got in super early, and I didn't have to verse all of the burn players because they hadn't built their decks yet. <laughs> I versed one burn player. I had the realisation that uh, I can, like, despite the fact that Ring of Destruction is not big enough to get rid of my opponent's big shit, I can give them Ojama Trio, burn them a bit, and then Ring of Destruction, the Ojama Trio... And burn them for the last bit. bit. It does no damage, but then I burn them for the for remainder. It's like, yeah, cool. Good work. Sorry. <laughs> and then the last one, or the last one in the current run, is uh, the dragons. Not yeah. the dragons. Dragons. Uh, so three loner decks. I don't know if you can actually choose, like, build your own dragon-only deck. I think you have to choose between the Please three. Please tell me one of them is all dragon rulers. If uh, it's not, you have to immediately stop talking about this event. I won't. Um, so, the first one is Dragon Mates. It's not Dragon Rulers. Correct, but it does have three tidying, so that's a good start. It's not Dragon Rulers. Please shut up. Uh, we also have uh, Sacred Seal of Dragons, which is Hieratic. It's not even Dragons. Wait, is Hieratic Seal just not Dragon Mates then? Uh, it could be. But it's not. How many <laughs> nurses are playing? Oh, no. How many laundries are playing? One. That. <laughs> yeah, they got that right at least. Um, so yeah, expected it to be a three, 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 three. <laughs> yeah. Honestly, wouldn't blame you. Uh, and then the third one is uh, rockets. Okay. None of them are dragon rulers. You were supposed to talk talking about this event. Yeah, all those meta dragon picks, and I didn't pick the best one. Yeah. We getting oh, a dragon ruler structure deck? Imagine. God, please. <laughs> a structure deck of ten cards. <laughs> <laughs> no, then they'll include more. 
When they do the next creator card more. poll, we need to all vote for Dragon Wars. Yeah, because then they'll... Cause like, it's been a while. Because they've got the XE, those, those... They probably just aren't doing They haven't released the XEs yet. They will, in the structure deck. Yes. But they're not... They only did the early shit for Promethean Princess. They're not going to do it for the Dragon Ruler XEs. That's what you say. Yes. Where the Dragon Ruler Synchro at? Oh, God. Oh, please. That isn't... It's still a 7, though. Cosmic. It's still a 7, so you have to work out... <laughs> you got to use a Baby Ruler and something else. <laughs> I've forgotten the 11 star sync. You get attacked. They can't chain in battle phase. It was amazing. I don't remember. Oh, that's Star Eater. Good looking card. Retrain, please. <laughs> uh, as well as that, um, we do have some new packs haven't been announced. Uh, so the newest secret pack that's coming out on uh, Jan 10th uh, has uh, the Transcendosaurus stuff, the new Dino stuff. Yep. Yeah. Uh, as well as the Dynamorphias, because apparently there's not enough there. So far behind. I mean, we know this about Master Duel. We've known this about Master Duel for a long I feel time. Like it's not, it's getting, I feel it's like getting it's getting worse. Yeah. <laughs> like, I don't know. I, I still think it's fine. Because, nah. like, when were the Super Heavy Samurais released? May. Yeah. That was a while ago. Yeah. It's like, like, there was a point where we were, like, <laughs> just about six months behind, and now we're out to, like, nine months. Because I looked at my going, shit, we, we get, we're coming to Dune now. And I'm like, yeah. we haven't even got half of Cyberstorm Maxes yet. Yep. And the extra the, uh, deck build pack. So. We're starting to get the deck build pack at least. Yeah. Uh, they do also have the next secret pack. Uh, sorry, no, selection pack. Um, that one will have the new Super Heavy Samurais, yep. uh, the next iteration of Visas Law, uh, the Gold Prides, and the Nemrelias. Gold Prides. And unsurprisingly, uh, Prodigy Wakushi. Uh, Wak Wakahushi. Oh, Kaushi. Yep. There we go. Uh, is it you are? Oh, I thought you were going to say limited. I was like... No. I mean... Oh, yeah. I mean, there's still a couple days left. They could very well just go, oh, so this is a one. Sorry, emergency limit. I mean, yep. they already got rid of the loop card. The FTK card. Is that not the loop card? doesn't loop. The rest of the deck is what keeps going. The FTK piece is what they banned. Oh, was it? Yes. Uh. I thought it was the loop card, the one that no. just searches every time it goes to the bin. That is not the one they banned. They banned the one that is the FTK piece. Okay, cool. So, Droll's going into the main deck. Cool, 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 cool. Yes. Uh, and then we have a bunch of product that's been announced. Um, I'll try and find the more critical ones. Um, so, I guess the first one to go through is the Lightsworn support, um, as referred to in a thumbnail. Um, it's very good. We're all big fans of it. Yeah. Oh, I forgot. We're talking about lights one spot. Yes. Yeah, lights one spot. Very good. Yeah. Um, I I feel like I've talked about it so much, but I don't think I've spoken about it at all on the podcast. Literally. Uh, no. Yeah. It came good. out it like was... literally minutes after we finished yeah. our last. Yeah, pod. We wandered over to the television, got oh, OCG has a stream on. What's this about? <laughs> like. <laughs> oh, they're talking about the Light Sworn lore uh, solo mode. That's weird. New support <laughs> announces cards that are just absurd for that deck. They're actually really good. So you've got um, you've got Weiss, uh, which gets the wolf out of your hand, puts it back on top of the deck, and then you mill it, and then you get to summon the wolf. Yes. Um, very good. Yeah. Um, you've got the baby judgment dragon. Um, it's your cutie. It's it is really adorable. It's all, it, is, it is also really we're good. The plush Jerome. Yeah, we're the plush Jerome. And don't lock it behind oh a my, thing. Oh my god. Like, there's so many other plushes that they've needed to do for the last 24 yeah, years of this game, this. other than scapegoats and Karibos, but my god, this is a plushie. It'd be so good. I also want to, even though it's a baby um, Judgment Dragon, because it's like baby in proportion to normal Judgment Dragon, I also want it to be enormous. <laughs> I yeah, want it to be, like, like, this tall. This is one-tenth of Judgment Dragon. That's because Judgment Dragon is huge. Uh, we also get the Enlightenment Dragon Fusion. Uh, it's a contact fusion between uh, the Judgment Dragon, which is really good, and the Punishment Dragon that used to be really bad, but now you get to search it with the Baby Dragon. It's, so it's also not as bad. Pretty free. Yeah, now it's just like, oh yeah, sure, why not? Uh, yeah, and uh, quick effect, pay 2,000 life points, banish all other cards on the field in the graveyard. Yes. Do you accept Light Swans? No, it's this that prevents the banishment of Light okay. Swans. So, uh, the new Synchro Minerva. Um, oh, I 
didn't point it out before, uh, but the new one that puts the wolf from your hand back on top and build stuff is a tuner. So that allows you to more freely access uh, Light Road Athena Minerva. Also, Phyllis is a tuner. Yeah, Phyllis is a tuner. Standard Raid and Normal Summon is a tuner. Yeah, I know. It's just nice to have more options. But now we want to play Revolution Synchron. That too, yeah. yeah. Thank you very much, Jesse, for uh, helping me get those because now they're not only for fun decks but for good decks. Um, so yeah, while this is on the board, uh, oh, locals is going to get so toxic when this stuff comes out. Oh, it's We're all so just going to be playing White Sword. Uh, I mean, so this protects White Sword so yeah, cards from getting banished. White Sword monsters you control cannot be banished by card effects. So the ones on your board stay. Yep. But everything else goes. But you can summon that, and then your opponent can't banish your shit. But I assume they're going to do that before you get to it. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so, yeah. Um, so, when she's summoned, she sends light spawns from your deck up to the Does ones Michael, using material. Sorry, Michael also banishes, doesn't it? Yes. Okay. Hmm. So, you literally need to uh, open a way to get to Judgment Dragon and not have all your ship banished before it can hit the board. Yeah. To be able to out their board. Pancratops in, in the mirror. <laughs> yeah. Unless I mean, we play Snatch Steel. <gasps> True. Yeah. Um, Steely, Steely. So yeah, she sends a bunch of light swarms up to the ones that used as materials, so you get to foolish two for free, uh, and then banish four light swarms from your graveyard to send that many from the top of your deck to the graveyard. Uh, and then a new trap as well. Um, so <laughs> it sets itself when it's milled, and uh, target face up cards your opponent controls up to the number of light swarm monsters you control, and you get their effects until the end of the turn. Yeah. Very solid. Okay. Like... They realistically could have made a piece of support very much like this when they did Twilight Swan. They just chose not to. Yeah. Twilight Swan. They is. made that really bad one that's like if it's uh, milled at Judgment Dragon and as a trap you just activate it and it puts itself to the top of the deck. <laughs> <laughs> Phenomenally shit piece of support. Who knows? Could be a one off in the new stuff. Probably won't be. Could be. Could be. Probably won't, won't be, though. No. Um, it didn't get talked about nearly as much because it was announced like right after the Lightsworn support, but um, we have the newest uh, support for the... What's its name again? Ancient Gears. Skull Servant. But they announced the Ancient Gears and it's Ancient hot Gears. shit. Yeah, so Ancient Gears was on the same stream. Not as much love there. No. no. They even had the French uh, Crowley actor on the stream. And... No, yeah, nothing no one saving that. Nothing was saving that. No. Um, but yeah, um, Skull Servant support. Um, so again, calls itself Skull Servant. Um, if you have a Skull Servant in your graveyard, uh, send the card from the handle field to the graveyard. Send cards from the top of your deck to the graveyard up to the number of Skull Servants and King of the Skull Servants in your grave. Bench this card from your grave. Target a Skull Servant or King of the Skull Servants in your graveyard and special summon it. Tier Skull Servant? Lights more Skull Servant? That'll be what Andrew does. <laughs> also be playing tomorrow. I don't know if he has that deck still. I think I've mentioned to him many times, like, what you can if do with Skull Servant. If you've been a buyer for Skull Servant in the last 10 years... I think I think he may have sold it when, like, the new, most recent hype for it came out. Yes. Uh, we get a new quick play spell, uh, Blink Out. Target a Link monster on the field, return to the extra deck, then you can special summon one of the materials used for its Link summon from your graveyard. So yeah. you... This card's great. Yeah, you return SP, summon IP. And then do it again. Yes. <laughs> but you can respond to the other... Because there's another control, like anti-EXE card, that you can't respond with. Exe. Anti-link... Uh, wasn't there another anti-link... Yes. Um, this one here. Metaltronics. Um, so this one, target a face-up non-token monster your opponent controls, special summon one monster that has two or more of the same type, attribute, and or attack from your deck, uh, hand, deck, or extra deck, yep. but its effects are negated. And if you do negate the targeted monster's effects, then if the two monsters have the same name, banish them both face down. Your opponent cannot activate the targeted monster's effects in response to this card's activation. Yeah, but you can chain the other quick play spell. <laughs> Tag it out, bring back... I mean, these are going to get milled to the bin anyway, so what do you do? Yeah, they're all going to graveyard. But Along with our transaction two, rollbacks. Two good utility cards that remind me of old control cards, which I would appreciate, but I don't think... Hear me out, Jake. Mm -hmm. In the Light Sworn mirror, yep. you have transaction rollback and the Light Sworn trap that lets you add Judgment Dragon. And then you use transaction rollback effect to then reset the transaction rollback 
because you can use the grave effect of the light swan card. <laughs> well, is it the long field effect of the light swan card? I don't know. I'm making up pointless things. The other one stops banishing face down, so like, so the light swan, so that card banishes it face down, so you can't use it against light swans either. You can't use it evenly matched. I mean, you can still use it because you yeah. can banish face down. Just you wouldn't get to do the banishment. Yeah. Well, oh, hang on. Wait, 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 wait. No, no, check. no, no, no. So because you can banish face down, you can still resolve it because you target the Minerva. Oh, target the Minerva, a, yeah, summon your yeah. thing, and then you yeah. can banish them face down. And gotcha. then Minerva's negated, so you can then banish stuff. Yes. Well, maybe this card's all right then. Oh, no one was debating if it's alright. It's a great card. No, I mean, I was. Yeah, but... I thought Light Swan was yeah. immune to him. <laughs> nah. I'm looking forward to the Light Swan stuff. That's going to be fun. Um, also, a couple of weeks ago, they did a V-Jump sneak peek of a card that has a picture of Dark Magician and Monster Reborn on it. Um, a lot of people were theorising as to what this will be, but today we have the announcement of what that is. So it's called Spell Card Monster Reborn. Uh, not... A particularly well thought out name. <laughs> <laughs> they could have tried just a little harder. Could have called a quick play spell monster reborn. Uh, so yeah, it is a quick play. Uh, target one monster in either graveyard, special summon it to your field, but it cannot attack or activate its effects this turn. So it's a worse monster reborn. How's it worse? Because it can't attack. You can't chain monster reborn to cold by though. Not that cold by is even a problem. Or is it? And also, you just take their Ponyx before it triggers and adds itself back to hand. And then sure. you link it off for something else. It's fine. Sure. Into Anima. Mayhaps. I think it's a fine card. Yeah. And it's a three. Oh, when we get it. If it's a three. Mm. It will be. Ah, okay. yeah. We move. We do. Uh, what we move on to, though, is another question. Uh... Sure, we've got the blue eyes stuff too. Uh, for some reason, I couldn't find the link for that. Um, it but... was on the same stream as the Light Swarm. I know that, but it wasn't on the link. They don't care about blue eyes. The Light Swarm was better. Anyway, we know what it does. It's a new fusion. It uses uh, a that brain. chaos monster and the blue eyes ultimate dragon. To make oh, itself. yeah, yeah, that's right. So it's got um, DMOC on the top of it this time, yeah? Yeah. Um, and then, yeah, while it's on the board, it can negate a spell, a trap, and a monster effect each in the turn. Uh, and then it does something when it leaves the board, but I can't remember what that is. Summons Chaos It's monster. also got a. Re yes, that's true. Yes. Um, and also has like a ridiculous amount of attack. I can't remember if it's 4,500 or 5,000. No, I, mean, I think it might it's be better, hope better Surely it's, it's 5k. I think it's 5k. Surely it's... I think it's 63. 5K. It's not that. Why not? <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know if 63 was the number I was going for. 6,300. We should get that 7,300, sorry. Why 7,300? 28 plus 45. Yeah, no, they typically don't do that with fusions. They should. <laughs> Especially for these kinds of fusions. It's literally one on top of the other. It never made sense in the old days to fuse stuff, because if you got three blue eyes on the board, you're not getting rid of them. Yeah, no, but if you fused Sangran and Witch of the Black Forest, you could resolve both effects. And, and then, then you'd you have sandwich. infinite loop for uh, Cannon Soldier, as per the book that you... <laughs> you get a little bit of loop for Cannon Soldier. No, the book said you'd never run out of monsters. You do never run out of monsters. Can you get the recruiters? If it was probably playing by the rules that, like, if you ran out of cards in deck, you got to reshuffle your graveyard to play again. Yeah. You know what? Yeah. Did you find it? Uh, look. I feel no. like I've given a decent synopsis of what it was. Yeah, sure. It's all yeah. it deserves. Uh, and then in the Maze of Millennia set coming out, we get the first look at the Flame Swordsman support. Oh. Uh, in summary, it's not good. It didn't suck though. Did we get a retrain of Flame Sword Salamandra? Not Don't yet. care, then we move. If... It's the only good card in the Flame Swordsman archetype. It's Flame Does Sword Salamandra. Would Salamandra mention Flame Swordsman on it? No, I don't think so. No, it's literally so, just okay. a picture of his sword with like, fire coming fire? around. Yeah, because it's got a lot of text. Doesn't it equip to a warrior? And then it makes it a fire? 
are we making this card better than what it is? <laughs> yeah, probably. No, yeah, it, it sucks. This stuff is a 700 buff. Salamandra. Can I equip it to my Salamandra monsters? Oh my god, it only has one line of text. Equip you know, only to a fire monster. Again, 700 attack. Ah, it was a fire monster. So you can equip it to Gazelle. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> attack over Inspector Border. I swear this had a bunch of like superfluous text on it, but it doesn't. It's no. Not in the original. I was just telling the people at home fun facts. Mm. How next, very fun. Next, next news check. Uh, well, that's it for news because the rest oh. of it's garbage and I don't want to talk about. It. We move on to questions. Uh, so we've had quite a lot of questions. Uh, if you weren't aware, we do have a Discord link in the description below. Feel free to jump in, say hi, and ask us questions. Our first one this week comes to us from Ryguy. I would have guessed Ryguy. I was about. I was thinking Ryguy. It's gonna be my guess. So his question is: You are now Mr. Jerome Konami. Oh no. Head of all things Yu-Gi-Oh and Konami. What is the first thing you'd change? I would make that mandatory on all tables so when you have a response you have to hit it. <gasps> Genius! Yeah, therefore there's no longer confusion as to whether or not you have a response. You have a big red button. And then there's like a little 10 second timer every time you hit it, so you, that's how long you have to indicate your chat. Can you imagine it's yeah. getting up to like 20 seconds in time, your opponent's like, special summon this. If it doesn't go off, you don't get to respond. <laughs> <laughs> Judge, button not working. Uh, summon's fine. Um, activate effect to special from deck. Uh, special summon. Special's fine. Uh, exit the main phase. <laughs> <laughs> Surely they could do this on the Euron app. Uh, You're not allowed to play sounds on the new app. Yes. But there's a soundboard. You're not allowed to play them in the events. I actually don't know what it sounds like. From the minute I've had that app, the sound has been off. That's yeah, fine. I thought it was the same soundtrack as Mustjul. No. Well, how do you know? You haven't listened to it. Because it I know it's not. I think it just has the, the audio of the. I could swear there's a music button. Yeah. yeah. We're getting copyright striked. What do you mean? We just... I'm gonna download the rest. Oh, oh okay. <laughs> <laughs> DLC pack for Neuron. Um, first thing I'd change if I was in Jerome, uh, my balding head. Um, <laughs> you heard it. You heard it how I heard that, yeah? Is, that, is Jerome a spring roll? Response. What? Is Jerome a spring roll? You, what's, what's your response? I said change. What? Yeah, what's your response? Okay, keep going, okay, keep going. Okay. Um, I'm going to have to listen to this back. Um, I did have an answer for this now, but you've completely thrown me. Did you? Maybe it's because you were in Jerome. <laughs> Uh, children. I'm working with absolute children. Brad, what would you change if you were in Jerome? I just couldn't be trusted in Jerome. <laughs> I... I'm so glad I hadn't taken my drink yet because it would have been spat. I... <coughs> I really like that button idea. It's so good. Uh, I don't know. Get I some think... get proper products rolled out. Uh, premium started premium structured X where you can get three and cool play map for a little bit extra. Like good products. Actually, that's I realised it's not the thing that I said originally, but it's the thing that I'm saying now. I would bring back mats for every YCS. Bring back the Noble Knight structured egg. No, oh, that's not a, what's it a play mat in there. The, um, the that box. was also never a thing for everyone, everyone else. That was just a thing for us. Yeah, but now it's a thing for everyone. Good. Every YCS has a mat. Good work, Jerome. It costs more, but that filters out the shit people. I liked when it used to not cost more and we'd get it anyway. Yeah, no, but now we pay the same amount and we don't get it. Okay. I'd prefer to pay more and get a mat. Back in the day, paying 20 bucks, you get your play mat, you still get the five packs. Yeah, it was... The like, value. I've definitely said the pod before where I was just like calling on family members and yeah. all players just going, hey, if you're not doing anything on the Saturday morning... It's a, it's a free play mat. You can flip this for a, you can flip it for fifty bucks on the day, and get yelled at by me where I'm like, this is worth more. Except for the red eyes one. 
persuade you or in that gang that flipped the 2014 one. Mm. Where'd your DM map go then, huh? I sold it for 150. Mm. Likely <laughs> story. I still have one of those mats and I cannot sell it for anywhere near that kind of money. Yeah. We have oh, one well. spare. I should take it to Japan. For like, how much you buy this for? So I'm fairly sure you need to live in Japan for that to be a thing you can do. Yeah, mm. I remember, like, I took a DMG mat over and they were just like, oh, no, nah, won't bother. I'm like, huh? Okay. Next question comes to us from Jesse. With the rise gone, will we ever get Mind Hacker back? Was Shangri the problem card all along? Nah, leave, leave Mind Hacker banned. Yeah. You don't need it back. Any card that lets you go in your opponent's extra deck and rip a card is never going to be great. It would definitely stunt the growth of rank 7 decks. We could never, they could never give us another good one because they could be like, shit, I mean, they can, opponents can mind hack of them. I don't know, it, it belongs in the Hall of Fame, right? Of this card was crazy, it's banned forever. Yeah. It was a prize card, it did nothing for a very long time. They released a deck that gave it some leeway, it became a big Actually, problem, a and deck then they that was fucked a rank it off. 7 that needed banished face down cards. All of a sudden, your opponent has five zones locked. <laughs> Like, actually, no, I was going to say, like, Shock Master, but you know how that goes. Um, yeah, it's. Yeah, leave it. Yep, don't need it back. It's fine. Uh, next question, 6 i 6 What cards do you see, slash, play, and say it in your head or out loud differently? I.e., saying Red Eyes, Black Dragon, like Joey Wheeler. Soul Taker. It's been a while that prankids. Yeah. I like saying prankids like Dinkabui. What, prankids? The prankid. Prankid. The prankid. Um, towards the end of uh, Unchained pre band list, I kept saying Rage is Rage. No idea why. Rage. I like that. Maybe you just wanted some Karage. I do like Karage. Um, I also tend to like really emphasize the gear in Dingisu. At least you don't say Dingaisu. Well, that would be incorrect. <laughs> yeah, exactly. We're all on the same page here. Uh, what else? Is there anything else? So, take a... Let me say that. Oh, uh, what was the... Oh, um... Yeah, I would sing Curry Bandit all the time. Curry Band... Dit. <laughs> some reason that sounds like Anchorman. I don't know why. Is that the second Smokey and the Bandit movie that song was in? Or the third? No idea. <laughs> yeah, you're on your own on that we one. We old, but we ain't watched that. <laughs> you never seen the first one? Nope. Oh. Probably not worth watching. Nope. It was worth watching 30 years ago, I think. Yeah. Not now. Uh, boobies, though. Boobies, you say? <laughs> Next question is again. players. Investigate. <laughs> Next question again is from uh, 6 i 6 Given the minimal second unlimited printing sets in the last few years, does a card being first ed even matter anymore? Yes. Oh, if I notice it's unlimited, it's like a right away lock in and go... It, it's gotten worse now. Now if I'm going back into old cards, the moment I see the unlimited, I'm like, this card is worthless. <laughs> Not always true, though. Mm. Some of them, like, the first printing might be super obscure, so you might not actually get... Like, still. Jules Genesis. We should probably buy the rest of Jules Genesis first ads before. Like, even just the, like, the Vegas cars where it could become something eventually. Yeah, right, that's a plan. When does this go up? Six hours. <laughs> buy all those <laughs> Tiggs first ads. Uh, the next question is from Guy. What are your go to card games with a standard deck of playing cards? What were we playing New Year's? I don't know. Because uh, we were doing Kings. some horsey race. <laughs> yeah, yeah. so that those were drinking games. So we played King's Cup. Um, we played this card game that Luke plays. I don't actually know what it's called, but it's like you first guess if it's going to be like a certain suit and then you guess if it's going to be higher or lower than the first card you got. And that's the whole thing. Um, and then, yeah, we did the horse races where like you flip cards as you go through and yeah, you designate like you bet how many drinks you want to do. But those are all drinking games, like... Like check and poker work fine, because I can count cards. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> Before my Yu-Gi-Oh time, well, in concurrent to Yu-Gi-Oh time of not everyone has Yu-Gi-Oh cards, like, we'd, like, 
we called it bastard. I don't know what the actual name is. Where it's three face downs, three face ups, three in hand, and you've got to count up, count down, and individual cards have certain effects. Um, it's it's definitely it's definitely a card game. It's played a bunch. I remember but having just, played it. I just cannot remember the rules. Yeah, so that was. I like to point out on New Year's, I was chilling in the hammock, and the, yeah, everyone was like, "Come over and play." Uh, these card games it'll be fun you can count cards it'll be easy and I was like it's not fun I'm staying in my hammock the knowledge it hurts me yeah I don't want to have to use my brain yeah you're a bit of a bummer on New Year's I'm not gonna lie what? I was sleepy I was chilling yeah I didn't say you no no with him we were all just hanging out on the balcony maybe you were the bummer yeah Jake was inside like we gotta play games guys it's like don't need to play games just relax there are more people in here than there were out there Oh, like, popular. I was in. Oh, I was in the. I was in the life of the party. Okay. Yeah. I think this is the content you really need to have in the podcast. Yes. Yeah. yeah. And definitely with someone who's not in view and He's... really shouldn't have an opinion shared. <laughs> I was quite relaxed. Also, he says I was a bit of a bummer because I told them not to air fry a banana in my air fryer oh, and you. throw things off the. Market. I had nothing to do with that. At, well, the first part of that. <laughs> so I'm the buzzkill. For not wanting there to now be I mean, in, banana stains. In fairness, for the the glow stick hammock. portion See, he of had the to protect night. his hammock. Yes. And it's well, he did a piss poor job of that, didn't he? Because yeah, I hopped out but of the hammock to be like, "Why are you air frying a banana?" Next thing I know, there's now air fried banana all over my hammock. Anyway, in reference to the glow sticks, uh, silver lining in that, it got Josh out of the apartment for five minutes. Because you threw them into the street. There's still some there. What? Oh, threw them into the street. Yeah, and then Josh went to collect them. Welcome to the intricacies of life. <laughs> um, what was the question again? <laughs> card games. Yeah, um, so whatever that one yeah, is. Well, you did that because you're like, I can count cards. You answered can't. it. You no, I didn't. Then I played these. Fish. What? I didn't answer it at all. Then what do you play, Jake? Hold them. Euchre. Ah. Who's yeah. older, the person who invented Euchre or Jake? The person who invented Euchre. Oh, I don't know. Or Mika. Mm. Euchre or Mika. Who's older? Yes. Next question. Very funny joke that landed really well. It, uh, it landed well for me. <laughs> yeah. New question asker, I guess. New person to the channel. Uh, Beasley J. Hmm. Hi, Beasley J. Welcome. What are your feelings on cards and their values? Uh, he started playing Yu Gi Oh! again after three months. Um, yeah. Uh, after. Yeah, three months ago, after about 15 years out since he left school, uh, he bought his Rescue Ace desk deck for about £250 uh, and is now going Pounds? to cash out and buy three Wanteds and three Diablo Star due to the uh, posters on eBay selling for £125. I see that it's um, that bad in Europe too. Wow. Um, yeah, they even have a card market. I didn't buy a set well, you to say turn a Wanted profit. is £125? Yeah. No way! Maybe. Right, really? you have access to card market. I don't want to be the person that informed you of that if you already knew that. Just just be safe there. Oh, yeah, I guess it would be that much on eBay. Use card market. eBay here is fucked. Yeah. Those Probably the same fun. over there too. Mm, yeah. I feel like eBay is just like you pay the premium for not doing any research outside of eBay. So, reverting back to actually answering the question. Uh... Card prices this year I've found are the most unreasonable. Yep. Cards are being expensive because we want to play them and they're somewhat hard to get. Mm. Whereas like in the past cards were expensive because they were genuinely really good cards that like we need to play three of. Like Ash Blossom is expensive because everyone wants to play three Ash Blossom. Mm. Wanted is expensive because like sixty percent of the competitive player base plays it. It's like that number's not a hundred percent. No. Like, mm. IP is expensive, but it's a one-off. This card shouldn't SP. be expensive. So, SP. Um, yeah, this year there's been a lot of cards that are expensive that probably in years gone past wouldn't have been super bad. It feels like the COVID mindset stayed, like where the Golden Lord, like, Prosps, all that, all those cards released in that era. Yeah. It's just that mindset stayed. But it's like, no, we're very much back on track. We shouldn't be dealing with this. But I guess we are. I guess we're also now in the market where... They we're in the new world where it's ten secrets per box and in per yeah. set instead of eight. Yeah. So you don't get your play sets and that drives up prices, but 
yeah, it, there's been a lot of cards that are expensive this year that in years gone past would have been expensive, like, don't get me wrong, but these cards would have been, like, 60 pounds instead of being 120. Yeah. It is a bit absurd. Like, Zodiac Barrage was... Mm. That card was in 80% of card player base. Uh, the card players. They never decks. went above 120, did it? Not for us, no. no. There, at the time, though, was a cap on how much you could charge for an individual card at an event, which put like a kind of fake ceiling on a card. Yeah. So it was like 100 USD was the most you could charge for a card in the room of a YCS. Vendors weren't allowed to charge over that for a single card. Yeah, okay. That's, That's no longer a rule. Yeah. So. Yeah. But I saw my, my play set of wanted. So. <laughs> yes. And that's my rant. Well, good. I'm fairly sure everyone agreed. Yeah. Yeah, I don't think that needs to be going, gone into too much more. Um, another new person to the channel, uh, Lost Contact. Hi, Lost Contact. Um, he asks, how do you feel about cards in different languages? Uh, he's in Peru on holiday in the last few weeks, picked up a Spanish rarity collection box. Uh, he wanted a uh, playset of Spanish Ash Blossoms. Oh yeah, that'd be cool. There's, there's times where I'm like, yeah, this is awesome, and then times when I instantly regret it. <laughs> uh, that's 95% of the time. Yeah, I don't like the idea of the hassle. Like, it's probably a little bit easier now that Neuron's a thing, but like, still the mindset's there of like, oh, if I play this card in this language... I have to then bring a card to translate that card. Yeah, so it's like, yeah, I know, but like the mindset's there of the old days where yeah. you still have to bring a translation. If it's a staple that everyone knows, and also the name is somewhat humorous to me, or I like it, yeah, I'll give it a go. The big, one of the biggest regrets from my past is that like there's been times where I've just randomly bought a pack or five of a foreign language set instead of being like, oh, I wouldn't mind getting like this language version of this card. I've just been like, uh -huh, I'll buy a couple packs. Every time I open them, go, ah, oh, the novelty's over now. I'm not going to use any of these because I don't have a playset of them. <laughs> yeah. Away they go. Yeah. Never been the super appealing thing to me, but yeah. Like for remote or YCSs, I got all my packs sent in French. Don't know why. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah that's right. I forgot about that. Uh, next question comes to us from Jesse. Uh, what are our 2024 goals for the game and life in general? And um, what is one thing about the game you would change that would improve your enjoyment, <laughs> aside from time rules? Tell me that button. <laughs> the button. Um, I you know, um, if I can not do completely shit house at YCS. Yeah. Not do completely shit house at WCQ. Like I don't need yeah. to top these events, but like, I just feel like I had a good time. Realistically, I think this year is going to be a year of me just trying to enjoy the game and enjoy the people that I'm playing the game with, as opposed to me being like, yeah, let's go super hard. Um, yeah. Ideally, I just get my invite and can relax and enjoy my time. Because mm. I still haven't got my invite. Yeah, I haven't got mine either. Yeah. No pass yes. downs from YCS, right? No, no. pass yeah. yeah. No pass downs in general. Yeah. Fine, yeah. Went from saying, oh, I don't want to top YCS, and they're like, yeah, let's top YCS. Ah, <laughs> we'll see how it goes. Yeah, day two of YCS is probably the same goal as usual. I'd like to top eventually, but I don't think I have the brain power and or commitment for this year. I don't see that. Like, oh, yeah, it's a write off. So, day two, woohoo. And then to enjoy the game more, oh, I don't know. Get better at my social interactions, I guess. Just like there's just sometimes where I'm like, I sit down, I'm starting to play the game, I'm like, oh yeah, the cards I've got, but just figuring out how to interact with certain opponents just will drive me on the wall, and it's just like, uh, and this includes strangers to YCS as well, where you just you will just have a bad person, and just right away I'm like, I'm too, like, I'm like I don't want to be in this situation. Yeah, it's like this game is not fun enough for me to deal with uh, people who are idiots. Yes, it's not fun. So improving that but I, I mean if we could improve that I'm sure we all would so I don't know what else to do yeah yeah but still I can make day two girly with that I reckon I have before yeah yeah look I'd like to top an event of some sort whether it be regionals whether it be 
WCQ, even though that's unlikely. Uh, YCS would be really cool. I still have no idea what I'd be actually playing for YCS either, which is probably an issue. I will decide in a month. You'd have to work that out. Um, yeah, this is so like this weekend that we're doing this is like either the week before YCS or the week of YCS, and it's just so weird to not be doing that. I've also that looked at my weird. bank account going, I don't think I've ever started the year with this much money. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, and then life in general, um, I don't know. You just, you just lost? Well, it is that type of year, I reckon. It is a year of just like, eh, hey, let's just keep waiting. 2025 will be here in a second. <laughs> uh, I think that concludes What if YCS this. is in January next year? Oh, probably. We're going to Japan. Oh, I know, we have one more. No, we'll be back by then. I'm because I'm loading up more towards Christmas break, so I'll probably yeah. come back around the fifth or sixth. Okay, maybe seventh. Let's see how we go. <laughs> and then last question is from Tuesday's new juicy fest. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> last question from Tuesday's noob: Should the winner of the dice roll be auto-generated as pairings are made, so people can just get on with playing Yu-Gi-Oh? No. No. Uh, if Master Duel's taught me anything is that their dice roll uh, computer thing is rigged. You know a coin toss uh, lands on heads 50.4% uh, of the time? Because the tail side of the coin is heavier. But if it's a non-physical coin, then it should be 50-50. It's a big but it's not. What does a Bitcoin land on? <laughs> what does a Bitcoin land on? Tell me, Jerome. So where's this paper rock? Which is, this is a paper rocket. Always throw paper. You don't do that. Not smart people throw rock. People that operate a monkey brain always will throw rock. That's why Logan always throws rock. <laughs> <laughs> if, you, with... if you noticed the other night when we were playing our board games, Seb had started drinking, so I started throwing paper. And he was throwing rock like a mob. He was, every chance he got, he was like, rock. I was like, I know. I mean, you lost the I first one. There. Yeah, and he threw rock. And then every point after that, I was like, he's just going to throw a rock. Three sure every time we've done a left-handed rock paper scissors there, I have won. I'm yet to lose. Yes. Undefeated rock paper scissors champion. Because Ben never plays and never else not throw paper. Or someone else throws scissors and then you get the... Yeah, I, I mean, I when it's scissors. five man rock paper scissors and you get the majority <laughs> of the rule. <laughs> Oh, good. I hope that Mike picked that up. Uh, that concludes no, us all. No, it doesn't. We've got one more YouTube comment. Oh, the YouTube comment. That's right. Ben got called out. I did no, get called really. out. I mean, yeah. it is a call out, but also not really. Uh, do you want me to do it? Yeah. No, no, you got it. You Down got it. Jules on YouTube. You can't really make an argument. Uh, this is in relation to the best of 2023 video. Go and check it, please. Uh... Can't make an argument for Amazing Defenders to be the best product of the year. First off, it was considered to be trash upon release. Great set. Upon release, it was fantastic. And only got better with the other sets released. Uh, look, I get where you're coming from, and everyone was saying at the time, but it was at Orange Regionals where I got the packs and went, no, this is good. There's a whole bunch of random staples that were missing. The Saravis is going to come in handy, because my Jewel Overload ones are gone, and... The secret one I've only got one of I'm like well, no, I'm just going to run the two rares that's a good point I need to check me if the secret's not good there's a few in the oh. syndicate uh, <laughs> Rax already scoped out a collection <laughs> uh, da, 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 da. also Age of All oh, so arguing for Age of Overlord over it uh, introduced meta warping cards on release and is extremely valuable one could argue it was more valuable set years to come versus Amazing Defenders also the rarity collection just by its reprint value is miles better than Amazing Defenders because it gives budget players access to key staples of the game. Yeah, ben doesn't care about the pause. Um, <laughs> <laughs> also, uh, does a set, does a bo uh, $240 box... Age of Overlord requires you to uh, mix it with the Amazing Defenders cards. But Age of Overlord also had... Well, also, Age of Overlord just supported, yeah, I mean, either one you, way or the starter deck. You put the two together, you top of YCS. Mm. You have them apart. What are you going to do with your five cards? And that's PZ in there too. Look, well, it'll yeah, be... Yeah, it's yeah. Play, it is a two of in Rescue Ace. I was tossing up. I, I think I put Amazing Defenders mainly because this is my bias. Uh, saying we're in a collection is good for budget players, though. Is, yeah, sure, the secondary market has been very favourable. In North America, it was a cheaper set. Yeah, no, fair enough. Yeah, it was standard box price there. No. 
I think you've said that before. Yep. But also, there's been too many weeks since then. And by that I mean two. <laughs> <laughs> we didn't. It feels like so long since we did this. It has been. But it hasn't been that long. That this long. podcast's not been as long as I thought it was going to be. Yeah. I thought we were going to come in around like the hour and a half mark. No, it's not quite that long. I, I cut mean, out he some did, of the crap. Yeah, he did cut a whole bunch of uh, cards, including Blue Eyes support. We did a summation on it. It's fine. It's not amazing. If it is the T1 deck in May... It won't be, because that'll be Light Swarm. Just saying. Well, we've, we've jumped on archetypes before, and then there's just been some weird pivot, and then we have been wrong. Remember, Alternative Dragon exists. <gasps> I don't care. <laughs> you get to reveal your garnet. Yeah, in Light Swan, you get to put it back on the top of the deck and then mill it. Yes. So good. Who, like, just whoever designed it, props to you. You are no Jerome. You know what? That <laughs> that fiend that did that didn't. That was the last bit of support that they designed because they were doing test hands and they kept drawing Wolf and they're like, get this fucking thing out of my hand. <laughs> it's the same thing that um, Destiny Hero Denier, where it's just like. Put it just makes... We don't need uh, malicious back at three. Just put the first one back. <laughs> it's just yeah. Whoever whoever started doing those effects, thank you. Like you, you seemingly play the game, which looks a whole lot better than whoever designed the ancient gear cards. And that wraps up the podcast. That does wrap week. us up. Thank you all very much for listening, and watching. If you are watching along on YouTube, feel free to like and subscribe. If you're listening along, feel free to favorite. Jump into our Discord, ask us some questions, and we'll catch you all again next week. Peace.